Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to Marvel Man's Game Room. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, Dawn, uh, <laughs> Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, Doomsday, and Superman figures. So first, before we crack this boy open, let's check these boys open. Let's check the box, because the boxes are really cool on these set. Because of that really cool stuff. And we got a nice picture of both of them right there. Doom Diana's ugliness. Alright, so let's crack this bad boy open. And see what we got. Good thing they're so dang bulky. <laughs> Get out the cards and their stands. The cards and stands are in little baggies, which is very nice. I don't have to rip plastic too much. Single peg, black DC stand. For both of them, we'll keep that as rendered because. <laughs> Nothing's really different with both of them. However, I'm trying to get the cards out without ripping them. Or bending them too much. I really like these cards. I like collecting them. Alright. So here we go. We got Superman and Doomsday cards. The backs are uh, the exact same thing. Real name unknown, Kal-El Clark Kent. All right, so let's take the shield off first. Ooh! Okay, <laughs> had a little extra background noise on that one. Alright, so Doomsday decided he was just going to flop right the fuck out, so I guess we'll look at Doomsday really quick. <laughs> he was like, no, nah, I want to get, get shown right now. Let me, let me, let me go. Let me go. So he's got his McFarlane diaper. It's really cool, although I am saying... I don't know how to put this. It looks like a blurry picture. Like the... The paint job makes Doomsday's skin look like it's a blurry picture. It's very weird to me. I was a little confused. But, because he's so big, he's got single-jointed knees and single-jointed elbows. It's not very posable. It looks, yeah, you know, nothing there. You move his head. Although that noise is kind of concerning. Uh, I can move his arms up and down. Oh, man, I do not like those noises. He's got one open hand, one closed hand, and they can rotate. He's got the toe movement. He just goes up and down with the ankle. Pretty, pretty not posable. <laughs> not the most posable figure. So we'll just put the stand on. And move him off to the side and look at Cal. So, first, let's look at the <laughs> accessories here. I'll take Cal out because he's falling. Take Superman out. Look at these accessories we got here. So, he's got multiple hands, quite a bit of hands. He has four different hands. So he's got his fist hands that are on. So he's got a grabby hand here, an open palm hand here. 
got a kind of relaxed hand here. And then finally, a pointing hand, which I don't understand. But that's okay, whatever. Then, the spear. Now this is my only gripe with this figure set, is that kryptonite piece. I, personally, would have thought they would have gone with like a clear green plastic, but they went with a solid, not a very pretty shade of green plastic coating on, or color coat on that. The spear looks good other than that though. Looks pretty cool. So, so let's take a look at Superman. Man in all his glory. I can't tell if this is the exact same mold or anything like that that they used for the um, alternate. Would it be gold label? Because they're, usually their alternates are called gold label. I think it's. Hang on, I gotta fix this angle. This angle's in a weird way. The uh, gold label Superman from Justice League, where he actually has the blue and red suit. Kind of looks similar, but I don't really know because I don't have that one. So I can't really compare with that one. But it looks good. I really like it. He's got the McFarlane diaper on. Kind of a more solid piece. Yeah, that's a solid piece. Huh. It might be the exact same mold then. He's got double jointed elbows. He's got some swivel at the bicep. Got not a whole lot of movement in the head, which is kind of disappointing. He's got a wired cape, which is nice. Nice cloth cape going. He does have movement at the, the wrist, but they look like they're flimsy as all hell. Got movement at the torso. Can't really pivot all too much at the waist. I'm not going to force any of it. If it doesn't move easily, I'm not going to force it. It does have ankle movement. He's got the toe joint. And he's got double jointed knees. And that is pretty much it for Cal. He does not have a flying stand on this one. He does have a regular black stand, though. Superman, and we got Doomsday. Put that out there. And with that, that is the Superman and Doomsday. So if you enjoy this, or want to see more of these type of figures, or gameplay, or comic book readings, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll catch you all next time on Marvel Man's Game Room. Peace out.